glory that is of the Holy Ghost that comes on you that we begin to partake of is doing something but it's not just weighty and heavy just to be heavy man it's weighty and heavy because it begins to hold things together it begins to attract it begins to attract things to you in heaven Jesus at his right the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying God words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe and if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us well tonight I'm gonna to be talking about the Holy Ghost as I am want to do but specifically about him and his glory because he's God and he's in the earth there's a certain amount of glory that goes along with that he may or may not be glorified in your life because you don't know him in this way that I'm gonna be talking about but let's see if we can change that if you know him that will have an effect on you if you know him and his glory that will have an effect on you so there are definite results and definite effects that you can expect in knowing him and his glory oh, some of you will say well glory what is that the Hebrew word for glory is kabod and that means intrinsic worth wealth or gold but always it carries the meaning of weight and you can understand gold is weighty so kabod always is talking about weight the Greek equivalent of glory is the word doxa but it adds to the kabod the Hebrew meaning it adds gleaming brightness like if you saw you know something gleamed the Sun gleamed off something brightness right splendor and you can see this well if you saw some gold and the Sun was shining off of it what would that be like you saw a gleam well so you combine these meanings of the brightness and the weightiness and you begin to see the real meaning of the word glory that we're going to be talking about if we can just take a step here that gleam from the other world if you're seeing the glory that is of God and that glory has weight and value that's weightier means it's heavier than anything we have in this realm it's shinier it's gleamier than anything we have in this realm it supersedes it say it supersedes it and this is gonna mean a lot as we get going on here so everything here in this realm the glory from that realm or the glory that the Holy Ghost has is literally heavier and everything in this realm was made out of that realm so everything in that realm is actually weightier and heavier than over here it's eternal it has eternal weight it has eternal value when over here this only has passing weight and passing value I hope I'm getting this across so it's heavier say it's heavier as we can see and I'm gonna walk you through this when that glory spills over here when we start to partake of the glory that is of God over here it has an effect and that's the point of this message tonight when we start to listen when we start to partake of the glory that is of him it has an effect on us and on our situation is this any good first Kings chapter 8 verse 10 this is talking about the temple of God back in Solomon's day it came to pass when the priests were come out of the holy place that the cloud filled the house of the Lord so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord 
had filled the house of the Lord say the glory of the Lord had filled the house of the Lord and what was the result was that the ministers or the priests could not stand they couldn't hold up they couldn't stand under the weight say the weight the weight of the glory of the Lord it had weight to it say it had weight to it this is gonna matter as we get going on here very heavy couldn't stand up underneath it that's my point here with this verse of scripture that the glory has weight it has substance and it has weight and the effect was they couldn't stand up under it right so not only could they not stand but it begins to do something Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 who being the brightness of his glory say glory the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power so we're talking about glory and then upholding all things well another translation says and if you look this up it means holding all things together by the word of his power so we can see here that the word that he speaks has power in it and part of the power that's in his word is to hold all things together and you can understand that everything that we see in this physical world say physical world is held together by the Word of God it has glory in it which is weighty so it holds all things together there's glory in the word and there's enough glory and weight say weight in the word to hold all things together in this natural world just like the earth has enough weight in it to hold the moon in orbit God's Word has enough weight in it to hold the earth together and the moon and everything else every word that comes from God or comes from heaven has weight in it to hold itself together his word and the glory in it is much like gravity it holds things together why because of the weight that's in it what holds the moon in orbit the weight of the earth so we can see here that this weight is an attracting for I hope that you're hearing this I'm not just I'm just babbling on here I'm trying to get a point across to you that the glory that is of the Holy Ghost that comes on you that we begin to partake of is doing something and the root part of it is that it's weighty and heavy but it's not just weighty and heavy just to be heavy man it's weighty and heavy because it begins to hold things together it begins to attract say attract it begins to attract things to you it's an attracting force the glory of God is an attracting force say that the glory of God is an attracting force so what does it attract you say would you like to find out to frame this up go to first Kings chapter 10 verse 1 and when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord she came to prove him with hard questions and she came to Jerusalem with a very great train with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones and when she was come to Solomon she communed with him of all that was in her heart so you see what's going on here here's a queen and she brought very much gold and spices and precious stones she came to him it doesn't say he called for her she just came We'll continue on here there's more to that story but go down to verse 14 now the weight of gold say weight 
of gold you know what we're talking about right we're talking about the glory of god we just before I, I showed you that there was weighty glory in the temple that they couldn't even stand up under it here we see now the weight of gold that came to solomon in one year was 600 three score and six talents of gold that's literally tons tons of gold came to solomon why do you suppose it came to him because of the glory that was in the temple that was an attractive force what did that glory attract it attracted wealth it attracted fame it attracted glory it attracted gold so that gold came to him the gold came to him say the gold came to him why did it come to him because of an attractive force an attractor like a tractor beam it drew it in well that's some serious attracting power right there can you see that so the Holy Ghost and his glory that comes on you listen is an attractive force it makes you attractive you become more attractive say I become more attractive say I am extremely attractive how is that because the Holy Ghost is on you he's very attractive can you see this and he makes you attractive now Haggai chapter 2 verse 9 says the latter house is going to be greater than the former we just talked about the former house being Solomon's temple well the latter house which is you you're going to be greater in glory what glory verse 8 Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 says the silver is mine the gold is mine the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former why is that because he's in it and the glory is going to be attracting more to you than even to Solomon let's look at the word attractive I know we all have ideas of what we think about the word attractive is but attractive means causing attraction if you're attractive you're causing attraction you're attracting something right we've already said that the glory the root part of the word is weight and it causes attraction now attractive in the sense that we use it talking about a person a person that might be attractive often that word is associated with someone being charismatic a charismatic person may be more attractive than a non charismatic person are you here well what do we know about charismatic people you ever heard of the charisma just part of the gift of the Holy Ghost and speaking in other tongues is called the charisma so when you receive the Holy Ghost you automatically become more charismatic and you become attractive say the Holy Ghost makes me more attractive more attractive well I'm attractive already well he'll make you more attractive I don't care how attractive you are you aren't as attractive as him are you here he increases my attracting force his glory on you increases your attracting force say his glory on me increases my attracting force just like a magnet it attracts the good things it also just like a magnet repels the negative it repels what you don't want are you here first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you that body you have of God and you are not your own 
verse 20 for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's glorify him the Holy Ghost in your body well if you're gonna glorify him you are going to be yielding to his glory to glorify or to to magnify him would be increasing say increasing the weight of him in your body and in your spirit well what's that gonna do well here it says you're the temple of God we saw what happened in Solomon's temple it's supposed to be a greater manifestation in you if we're gonna glorify this God the Holy Ghost in our body is he a God of healing what if I glorify this God of healing in my body what is that gonna attract healing is he a God of prosperity well obviously because you know we saw the weight of gold that just was attracted to him is he a God of prosperity yes what's that gonna attract prosperity it attracts the things that are of him is he a God of youth renewal what are you going to attract the number one way what do you suppose the number one way to glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body or with your body is you talk about it here all the time say my tongue is part of my body and if you're gonna glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body the number one way is by the use of your tongue to glorify to magnify to increase the weight of the Holy Ghost are you here and it's no it should be no surprise to you then that on the day of Pentecost the first thing that the Holy Ghost gave them the ability to do was to open their mouth and speak his words in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance and magnify God they glorified God with their mouth they increased the weight of him in their life say I increase the weight of him in my life and what's the result of his increased weight in your life his glory being manifest and all of those things being attracted to you tongues yes speaking tongues but also we can speak his word if we're talking about him as a God of prosperity we'll be speaking prosperity scriptures they are his words if we're talking about healing and glorifying him as a healing God we will be speaking his words well there is a weight to these words because they're his words you understand they came from him there is a weight to these words that supersedes the earth's weight or the earth's gravity or the earth's situation did you hear that God's words contain weight that supersedes the earth's situation or whatever situation you're in there's there's weight or glory in those words that is greater than your situation in fact everything from that realm the spirit realm has a greater weight than everything in the natural realm it might seem counterintuitive but it's the truth because everything in this realm came from that realm initially every word of God that comes from heaven has a greater weight and a greater attracting force in it than the situation you might be looking at so a healing verse of Scripture has in it already greater weight than the sickness and disease the prosperity verse of Scripture my God supplies all my need has greater weight in it than the seeming lack that you may be in right now I'm trying to help you out Hebrews chapter 12 25 see that you refu refuse not him that speaketh for if they escaped not who refused him that spake on earth 
much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaks from heaven so we can see here there are words just spoken on earth but there's words that are spoken from heaven say words that are spoken from heaven what did i say about those words those words are weightier and we can see he's saying that here verse 26 whose voice then shook the earth but now he hath promised saying yet once more i shake not the earth only but also heaven and this word yet once more signifies the removing of those things that are shaken say the removing of those things that are shaken can you see what's happening here he's speaking a word from a kingdom that can't be shaken and that word is removing say removing the thing that can be shaken it's replacing it the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made that those things which cannot be shaken may remain wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved what does that sound like it's more solid it's heavier that kingdom can't be moved and this is telling you that all the things you see in the natural realm can be moved what are they going to be moved by that kingdom those words they replace it wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear for our God is a consuming fire specifically says we receiving a kingdom not when you die and go to heaven you receive a kingdom we presently receiving a kingdom that cannot be moved it's contained in that glory second corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 for our light affliction which is but for a moment works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory why do you suppose those two words are so close together because the glory has weight we a light affliction but for a moment meaning it's fleeting works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we look not at the things that are seen in the natural but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal talking about the glory of the Holy Ghost that weight coming upon you and replacing the things that are seen and attracting the things that are not seen your confession of these things these scriptures will shake the earth it will shake your world it will replace the temporary with the eternal which has more weight and is more solid these words his words have inherent weight to them and in them more than anything on the earth yeah but I'm sick his healing words have more weight than that can you imagine a very heavy thing and it comes in and pushes something that has less weight what happens to the thing with less weight it gets moved out of the way more than anything on the earth it's temporary when you say them please hear this when you say them you become heavy when I say them I become heavy heavy with what heavy with the glory that is in those words say when I say them I become heavy are you talking about me gaining weight I'm talking about you gaining the weight of glory that replaces the temporary thing you become heavy when you say verses of Scripture my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory 
i'm glorifying i'm increasing the weight of the holy ghost in my life i become heavier see i become heavier no brother i don't want to confess that you become heavier in a good way what do you become heavier in what weight do you gain you gain attractive weight <laughs> you gain attractive weight say i gain attractive weight i'm gaining weight that attracts that thing that is from heaven that i need in my life you attract the thing said when i say my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory what do i attract i attract my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus and i become heavy with that are you here is this any good am i helping you out his glory is then on you and replaces the sickness or the poverty or whatever it is so every time you speak a scripture you are forming a world you are forming a weighty world that you're going to live in you know you talk about planets being formed by different rocks coming together and then the weight of one rock pulls the other rock together and then pretty soon they become a very large rock are you here let's keep it simple and then and then a small rock comes by Ooh, a little small rock and it goes gets sucked down in to the gravitational force that is the weight of those rocks you begin speaking the word and it brings it to you you keep speaking the word another one comes to you why because the weight that's in his word so I call for the things say I call for the things and as you call for the things you gain weight you gain attractiveness every time you say it you gain more attractiveness and the thing begins to come to you and I said as you do this you're forming a world that you can live in you're forming a world of healing you're forming a world of prosperity you're forming a world of youth renewal you're forming a world of the promises of God that you can now live in so I call for the things Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear stop living your life according to other people's version of the way you should live and start living your life according to the way the Holy Ghost intends for you to live live in that world increase that world glorify that God in your body when you do you'll be increasing the weight of him and the attractiveness of him and those things will be attracted to you say healing is attracted to me prosperity is attracted to me that's the world I live in are you getting this but it only takes one word from God to get the ball rolling can you see this it only takes one word of God that comes from heaven that has weight to it that gets the ball rolling and once you've got that ball rolling there's no stopping you all right Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 arise and shine for thy light is come and the something of the Lord is risen upon thee what's the something the glory the weight the shining the value the valuable weight of the Lord is risen on you it says even shine in there arise and shine for thy light is come the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee verse 2 for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be 
seen upon thee if what I've said is true then the next verse should say many of the things that I've been just saying if the glory of the Lord comes on you then there should be not just okay we see the light then there should be an effect that happens say there should be an effect that happens in your life when the glory is actually God being glorified in your body it has an effect let's read on the glory shall be seen on thee verse 3 and the Gentiles shall come to thy light what was your light that was the glory of the Lord on you they're attracted to it the Gentiles shall come to thy light and Kings to the brightness of thy rising verse 4 lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together did you gather them no they gathered themselves together they come to thee thy sons shall come from afar and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side verse 5 then thou shalt see and flow together and thine heart shall shall fear and be enlarged what happens when things are gathered together you are enlarged what is doing this the attractive force of the glory of God say the attractive force of the glory of God you're supposed to be more and more and more and more attractive verse 5 and then thou shalt see and flow together and thine heart shall fear be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee and the force of the Gentiles shall come unto thee verse 6 the multitude it continues on the multitude of camels shall cover thee and the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah all they from Sheba shall come and they shall bring gold are you seeing this what caused that the glory the weightiness and the attractiveness the attractive power of the Holy Ghost's glory that rises on you why is it rising on you because you're the temple of God and you're glorifying God in your body say when I glorify God in my body I become attractive are you getting this so the glory is on ye they shall come to you say they shall come to me and they bring the silver and gold with them why because the glory is on you the weightiness is on you you become super heavy say I become super heavy you're like a super attractor are you getting this <laughs> say I become a super attractor so we need to learn how to increase your attraction how to gain weight a good kind of weight so I'd have talked about several of these things and the number one thing is to speak in agreement with God in other tongues and his word but I would be remiss in not telling you about using the words I worship you Holy Ghost say I worship you Holy Ghost those words that came to me from heaven have weight remember I said everything that comes from heaven has weight but these words when you use them cause you to go behind the veil I have many other messages on this 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is veil taken away that spirit when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost it removes the veil and allows you to see who the Spirit Lord really is until that point you don't really see him as God and you can't know his glory in the way that you should and all of these things that I've said up till now really won't be that effective for you because you're thinking something else you'll be able to see who the Spirit Lord actually is and use the words 
I worship you Holy Ghost nevertheless when it turns to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is veil taken away ta-da that spirit and where the spirit is Lord or where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom and liberty but we all with open face beholding or looking at in a as in a glass or a mirror the what the glory of the who the Lord that is that spirit That's what I'm showing you tonight we're beholding him we're beholding his glory are changed into the same image from that glory if you're not beholding that glory you can't be changed into it that glory is attractive the glory of the Lord is you're you're beholding him it's attractive It's attractive to you but it's also attractive for you changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or even as by the Spirit Lord so these words when you worship him I'm telling you will remove that veil and you'll begin to hear things and see things about him that you've never heard or seen before and those words will gather weight on the inside of you and you'll become super attractive attracting all the things of the Spirit of God in the kingdom of heaven into your life until you're a completely different person you will be changed from one glory to the next glory from one weight to the next weight gaining weight gaining glory every step of the way say I'm gaining attractiveness as I worship the Holy Ghost and this increase is an increase without end let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed by this message and that they're beginning to increase in attractiveness and that your glory is beginning to rest on them and as it does other things are removed and the new things shall come and establish themselves in your life and you'll become weighty in the kingdom of God and well pleasing unto me says the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today you have said that part of your glory is silver and gold you have said that prosperity is part of your kingdom and I thank you that right now I am attracting greater and greater wealth prosperity into my life and I give you all the glory for it glorifying you in Jesus name amen the Father is in heaven right